So it just turns out that hitting F10 stops my screen capture software. So <clears throat> let's try using a different um, hotkey instead. I'll hit F11 and essentially Visual Studio goes into a debug mode. You see this yellow arrow. This yellow arrow indicates the next line of code that will be executed. In this case, the brace. Or you could think of it as being executed. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I hit F11 and if I hover over my string, you can see my string is null, basically meaning it points to nothing or it has nothing in it. Um, if I hit F11 again, this line will execute, which basically took this string of characters on the right, stuffed it, or placed it into this piece of RAM. So when I hover over my string, you can see now that my string is the value Jamie King. Uh, the value age starts out as zero, um, basically nothing in it. <clears throat> if I hit F11, I get the same thing. Age is now 30. And then I can F11 over these, and they print to the console window, which I think is hiding right there. So, a little exercise you could do is, is make your own variables int string and put stuff in there. You can also use um, a double and double, oh, I don't know, my GPA uh, gets 3.9999 or whatever you want it to be. Doubles can store decimal point uh, values with decimal points in them. So that's another type. Uh, some other types you can look up are a uh, long bool uh, oh, what are some other ones uh, float there's a whole bunch of bunch of them in fact uh, bool I actually want to talk about real quick I'm gonna hit shift f5 to get it out of this debug mode um, bool um, I'm tired uh, okay bulls can store either true or false values there's only two values or two states, as we call them, that Booleans can store. Uh, it can either be true or it can be false. And we rely on these a lot throughout program, which you'll see later.